All right, so guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I want to thank you guys for those of you that reminded me to come back to St. Denis to do the missions for the sister. We started doing some of the side missions, I believe, in Chapter 4 or 5. And you guys kept reminding me every single time that in Chapter 6... There was some really crucial side missions with with her and all of the other, you know, characters within the story. And I have to say, every single side quest, side mission in this game has been phenomenal. Like, it, I, some of them are just, they feel like regular story missions. And now in Chapter 6, they're even better, which is crazy. It's like, one of you guys said the, the perfect thing. It really adds on the redemption you know to, to, to arthur's story his character it's insane it's insane and this game really is about redemption like more than the first one I, I i think so so i don't know man this is just a fucking masterpiece oh i just recorded episode 21 by the way or in episode 22 like i i literally just recorded it i rendered it and then bam i'm right back on my horse no pun intended Okay, then, girl. All right, hold on. I got to clean my horse. Thing's kind of dirty. Good. Clean the horse, Arthur. I think, actually, I think it's going to be fine. I think it'll be fine. Is it clean? Eh, it ain't that clean. That's fine. All right, so we're going to go to the sister's mission. I'm actually going to go to the map so we can kind of get there as fast as possible. We are relatively close. I don't really need to take my horse, to be honest, but... You know, it's, it's me and my horse are like best pals. She's my best pal, man. What can I say? Oh. What is she doing here? Hello, sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, Drop I'm a like sure. if you think Arthur's beard is you on know, point. A long time ago? Because it is. I was like you. <laughs> I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally wow. they're rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. I mm -hmm. love this. God is people and people are God. So we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead. And the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms. <laughs> Donate, uh. Every little helps. Uh, Donate you money. Know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I mean, mm -hmm. wonderful, but so very. Frightening. <laughs> exactly. It's like he wants to hear, you know. <laughs> he wants to hear that he's an outlaw and that he's a piece of crap. <laughs> Consider your oh, wow. good deed done for the day. Oh, we already did it. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Oh wow. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Alright, so what we have to do now. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. Goodbye then. I have already taken up far too much of your time. She's so nice. You know, when I first played this game, I saw the sister 
and the train and, and a, you know, further mission, you know, further into the story. And I think I saw her maybe once and I was like, oh, the sister. But now when we do all her missions, I know it's going to have a much, much deeper impact on the story and just on us, you know, on a personal level. That's another reason why I'm doing these side missions, because I know it's it's far more important. That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all knew these was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we're gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. What? Come on, the... let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, that's fucking cool, dude. <laughs> that's cool as shit. Wow, that was freaking cool. I set up a camp and these dudes just rolled up on me like like gangsters. Like straight up gangsters. What the fuck? Wow, that was awesome. That was legitimately awesome. Wow, that was insane. I was not expecting that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Huh? I guess they think they own this joint. Little do they know, <laughs> I got a whole gang full of killers. You know what I'm saying, Piach? Oh, if they don't, they will find out. I already killed half their men anyways in that freaking cave. Easy, Garrett, we got this. So anyways, we're back over here at Ansberg, Annisburg, Ainsburg, whatever you want to call it, because we've got another mission with the one, the only. Mrs. Downs, Mrs. Doze, whatever, man. The poor woman that we basically ruined her life when we killed her husband. Oh, he ruined ours too because he gave us tuberculosis. So we're fucked. Here we go. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. She said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about more. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Oh, we're gonna go rescue her. Alright, so what would be the easiest path down the main road? Okay. Alright, so we have to see if we can kind of turn in here with the horse without causing too much trouble. And then going, going straight up. Let's see what's going on here. See what these assholes want to do. They think they could just come here and mess with my friends? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, sir. Absolutely not. Not happening, not having it. Now, not on. today. All right, let's see. Oh, God, what are they doing to search hey, for a trail hey. at the bridge? Oh, God, what have they done to this woman? Let me clean my horse, man. This horse is dirty. <laughs> There we go. Looking nice now, baby girl. All right, let's go up top. I'm actually going to get off here. All right, so tracks are down this way. Here we 
Here we go. Follow the trail. You know what? I'm gonna take my horse so we get That's there faster. Cool, yep. Go, go. Oof. All right. Yeah. Gotta tell my horse to get out of here, just in case. All right, Arthur. What are you? What are you doing? Oh shit! Oh <laughs> wait a minute. Let me spy on him. <laughs> Oh, dude, he's got her. Oh, the horse's head is stuck on the. It's nice out here, huh? It's quiet. Nice. Sure. Feller can do what he likes out here. I guess. You think I'm a nice man? That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Bro, oh, her life really wants to shit, listen, dude. Oh, listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? You loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. All right, let's take her on the horse. Hey there, girl. Wow, but we really fucked up this lady's life, man. Like, we really fucked her life up, man. Like, to the there worst degree. Yeah. Man. Ah, I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No, I ain't looking for that. Okay then, so just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who could still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. <laughs> oh, damn. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Wow, bro. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. See what happens. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh, oh. you silly boy. You know, Archie. What oh, we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. <laughs> I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here, please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day, but 
Don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Man. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get Mother out of here. Fucking Arthur. Please. Why this man gotta have that look in his eyes? Every time the camera pants to his face, I just want to ball out and cry. <laughs> was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, the Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! All right, so I, I thought I'd do this Micah so mission because we're already here. Say to him that needs to be said. He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people hmm. of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar. His Oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We wanted to get the oil in the water. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Hmm. That's, I'm trying to see if I recall this... This mission. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. Mm. We'll wait it out here. Yes, yes. Crates so no one sees us. yes, yes, yes. Really gotta wait here? Will you get out of sight? Man, relax. There we go. I was like, bro, I'm not about to be crouched here for freaking five hours. Or more. Definitely more. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best, 
I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man. What the a boys fucking lunatic. That's fucking dumb, dude. Oh, shit. Pinkertons. Of course, oh, asshole. Have you done, Dutch? Really, bro? Oh, Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Mike is going after those papers. Let's find him. Oh, this guy's a fool. Shoot Micah, shoot Micah! <laughs> Kill Micah! I found something interesting. Come on, we gotta move. Cornwall's men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. It's a mess. Let's 
fucking Micah, dude. I hate his ass so fucking much. Oh man, this fucking gun is nasty. Get the hell out of this place! Shoot that oil wagon! You ain't getting out! It's not an oil wagon. Oh, that's an oil wagon. <laughs> a little too late for that. I almost killed myself. Arthur, get. Come on, Arthur, get your you ass up, Arthur. From that coach. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Mm. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. No shit. Oh, nice shot, damn. This is a hefty ass horse. Look at the damn freaking ass on this horse. This is you. A big horse. Well, compared to my Arabian, the Arabians aren't so big. Ooh, sorry. The shot is on fleek right now. Man, this is a mess, dude. What a fucking mess. What a disaster. These guys are a disaster. Dutch, you are a disaster, man. Okay. Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. He's already betraying his own fucking man over Micah. What a piece of shit. So I think we're just gonna go to the next main mission. See if we get some other side activities going on after this. You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Hmm. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. 
But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Hm. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. <sighs> I guess. Come along. Fuck me, man. We can get them more horses. I know. <laughs> I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us. Look at that black horse. <laughs> bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. Mm. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. I remember the whole eagle flies being like super testosterone heavy and shit. In this, Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone <laughs> but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I love how the dialogue is perfectly timed for when you arrive. 
Awesome. I've always wondered how they do that There's shit. Data. That's awesome. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. We can set out. Paddle out to the boats. So after this mission, I think we're going to go ahead and do one or two more side missions slash stranger missions. Ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently. Order. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor. Float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Man. Good luck. This is one of those missions that's a bit foggy on me. I don't remember much of it, but I like this because remembering everything just it's not as fun. <laughs> Pull up alongside. Quietly. Oh, those are the uh, the horses right there. Uh, I remember this, killing this guy right here. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue the soldiers. Damn it, Charles. Fine. Sheesh. You mind the horses? I need a smoke. Body. Somebody's upstairs. Somebody's gotta go get the guy upstairs. I'm in. What the hell? Shit, we got a problem here. Oh fuck. The anchor. Or does it want me to? Be dealing with the anchor? Uh, I guess I got a plan to dynamite. The first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up, man. Hurry. Imagine now we end up in Guarma again. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boys, get him out of here! Oh God. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. <laughs> the horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, look at that that horse right there. That's fucking beautiful. What about the other ones? They're just gonna die back there? I guess they'll just follow. You know, guys, we could just go to shore. Okay, here we go. 
water here is kind of shallow, much more shallow. There it is. Hmm. Who the hell's that? What's going on here? Oh. Oh, that's this guy, of course. All right, Dutch, let's go. We're waiting on you, bro. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. I hate how he's... A good idea. This is the only idea, and it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. Hmm. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, Dutch just wants to use eagle flies. Unfortunately. He's a piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> So we've got Sadie Adler. We, we, we've got a good amount of yeah. missions going on here. All right. Here we are. This is another one of the stranger missions part two. Was that here? It wasn't here. <laughs> Why did I think it was there? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was right over here. The wisdom of the oh. elders. Be gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares, not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking the about? Demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness. It's, it's everywhere. That he was right. What are you talking about? They come in Help! darkness. Somebody please help! They're coming. Oh, pigs. Oh, somebody help! Oh God. <laughs> the demons. Stay inside. Keep your door shut. <laughs> Get away. They're just dogs, man. Black dogs. Ma'am, safe now. See if there's any more of them. Oh, thank you, brother. Shit, there's more, all right. Come on, Arthur. You're, you're a cowboy. You can't be falling off like that, man. Okay, man. They got Kane. They's got Brother Kane. Where? Over there. All right, I'll handle this. Come on. 
I was about to shoot him. <laughs> About to shoot brother Kane. You got a fucking sharpshooter with you. You're good, man. Shut up, bitch. I love dogs, but you guys are not dogs. You guys are animals. You're demons. Not gonna happen. It's not game. <laughs> it's just dogs gone crazy. Hey, nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> and, he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs. Uh, hydrophobia or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people mm. home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. Darkness has come for us. <laughs> yeah, he was right. Who was right? I was. Oh, Are you kidding me? I shall save them. <laughs> who are you? There will be no more four-legged demons. I just killed them all. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. <laughs> I just saved them, and it weren't no curse. <laughs> just sick. Dog. Dark charm possess the woods. I told you. Oh, he, he, did. he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That don't touch. He it. found the curse. Found it. So the woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. Oh, the curse. Oh. Yet the woods are also full of demons. I will find a way. Have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Mm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So, you're saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. I can see that. It's impossible. Yeah, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. <laughs> what a fucking tool, dude. And he would laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, the demons are that. He's a liar, okay? All right, how far is this guy? He's actually right, right up here, I think. Um, right over here. Yeah, you guys are being played. I'm, I'm just, just letting you know. Friendly reminder: you're being played. That, that's all. All right, we're actually right in front of it, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna let these guys know. We're gonna show them. But that's all bullshit. Okay? We're being played. Let's throw the cursed charms. Alright, where are the curse? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. 13 cursed charms. Two. Three. Three. What? Four. All right, let's get all of them, see what happens. Quite intrigued. Four. 
I get it? Seven. All right, we've got another one over here. Eleven. Two more. Two more to go, baby. There it is. There they are. <laughs> I want to see what happens when we destroy this shit. Done. Done. I am your savior. Who's that? All right, we're back. Remember me? I help mm -hmm. with those dogs. I've been seeing about this curse oh. of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, yeah. they all been broken. All of them? So, I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! It's a miracle! <laughs> We're saved! The darkness lifted! Not saved. Huh? Cursed. <laughs> he broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're doomed then? Hold on. You said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right, now I, I I need I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah. I think something's going on in this holler. And it ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up, and this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas. He didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift. My ancestor. I got a gift right here. I'm going to commune with the spirit. Dark, dark omens, dark spirits. What is he hiding? He, he, always, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that dick. See if I can see something. Uh, all right. Hmm. Let's see what's up then. Let's see what's up with the dig, man. Check out the dig. Oh, God. <laughs> Almost fell. Whoa, 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 boys. Whoa. Whoa, easy. Stop. What are you doing, Arthur? About to get my damn horse killed. Jesus. Oh, the gray wolf. I shot him with the arrow so I wouldn't mess up the pelt or whatever. Even though I know we're going to put the pelt on. We're going to stole the pelts on top of the horse. They're probably going to rot. It's going to become a side NPC character for the next couple of episodes. There ain't nothing new. Okay. I'm not even going to skin both of them. I'm going to be honest. It is what it is. Yep. Alright, let's go over there. I'm more interested in seeing what's going on here than anything else. Ah! <gasps> Alright, you know what? Uh, this is not going according to plan. I'm going to... Get back on my horse. You gotta be careful. Yeah. I think it's something. Oh shit! Gonna wish you never came to these hills. You should have heard tell of us murdering. 
piece of shit. Almost killed my damn fucking horse. That's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, here, here, here you go. Here you go. Uh, calm down. You know what? I I'll just, just pat you a little bit. You're gonna be okay. All right, you're gonna be a okay. The thing is, I don't know how to get over there. Yeah. I know I could go around, but going around just seems so tedious. And I'm sure I can probably find a shortcut. Yeah, maybe I'll run here. It's probably most definitely shorter this way. Right this way. Hmm. Oh, we're here. That's the dig. Alright, check it out. No, don't don't kill your fucking horse. Clear out! Clear. Alright. Good. Uh, this is a dig. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what the hell we're going to find in there. Pull out my gun just in fucking case. Never know. Oh, we're pulling out the lantern. All right, well, never mind. The curse of the mine. Oh, God. It's probably going to be something super stupid. Here we go. No? Fucking die. No. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Where's this? Run off head. Huh? Oh god, I'm gonna fucking die. <coughs> Gotta go somewhere. Yo, what? Yo, this is nuts. <clears throat> Holy smokes. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, Arthur. Don't fall in that. It's disgusting, man. It's a rat. It's all poison. I see where it's leading to. It's under the waterfall.
Hey, shoot! Shoot, get out of here! Hey, hey! <laughs> Wow, oh, wow. They're poisoning the fucking waters, man. Oh, that's cool. Tell me, man, these side missions are insane. See, the wolves are still there. Now there's other animals pro probably trying to feed on the carcass. Is that the right word? Car ah. Carco! Oh, yeah. I told you I would save you. Yes. Said I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes. Show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. Uh, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop it. <laughs> you didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, you're back! We thought the curse had got you. Nope, he nearly did. <laughs> Don't you go nowhere. <laughs> Scam artist. I was down that old dig and I found this. Leaking all the way into the lake. Uh, You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, 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 no, hey, please, hey. hey. No. No! No! Yeah. Oh, you've killed me! I'm poisoned! Poison now, is it? Uh, oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me! Oh, oh, dear. Dear God. Oh, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Oh, powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh. spirits. <laughs> it's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters. We got some praying to do. Yes, you don't don't pray. Do, do something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. <laughs> it's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money there. Just take it if you want it. <laughs> Look at this dude, though. Holy crap. What is it? Wow. Holy crap. Howdy. Sheesh, that looks painful. Alright, so I think we pretty much did all that already. We got a nice butcher here. Trapper. Who and what are you, sir? Hey, hey, you can't be here. Oh, you sound so nice. Okay, we're gonna head over to Micah now and see if we can do this next main mission. See if we can end it with a bang. There we go. Ah, there he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. 
which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, I hate that motherfucker. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Wow. Let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and... I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Wow. Get in position. Upstairs.
It's funny how this doesn't affect my high honor. <laughs> I mean, we're still killing lawmen. I'm just gonna try and go for the dumb shots. It's the only way. Oh, they're, gonna, they're gonna blow this shit up. just another idiot always been even in Red Dead Redemption 1 I think it was Bill the one that John Marston was looking for Does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. <laughs> I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. <sighs> Gonna cry. <laughs> Fucking love it. I think maybe Marston. You think so? Well, it's the only thing that makes sense. Well, that don't make much sense either. Oh. Arthur. Austin ain't a rat. How many years you known him? Why did they take so long to hang him? What has happened to you? Hmm. Just so we kind of don't not do another stranger mission, we'll just go to this one the last one that we have to do here until maybe we got to do this one and then the, the sister mission will pop up you know i know sometimes if you sleep certain missions will pop up but i don't know about this one i think in order for the next sister mission to pop up i think i might have to do whatever is available now and it'll just auto generate this uh the next one which hopefully would be the one that we're looking for now this guy shouldn't be too far off be right around the corner right up in here Mr. Big Money Bowler. Let's see, is it even in here? No, it's not. It's actually across the way. What? Man. Oh, wait, it is inside. What? Sir, you better open this. I think this is the guy that we met at the party. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 
Town. This is where the party took place. You guys remember that? I remember that. Right before shit hit the fan. There we go. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Psst. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. <laughs> they won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, <laughs> to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. <laughs> all right, let's see what this is all sir, about. If you don't mind, the gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I right. said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. Overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Must we go so fast? Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur. There. No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. <laughs> very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade <laughs> you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't! My reputation! 
You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again! It's really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are gonna look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're gonna send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. <laughs> We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. That's fucking hilarious. That is hilarious. Alright, it's done, asshole. So, it turns out... All those paintings were real after all. Oh. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's one. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. See, from these people, I'll take money. Fuck them. Mission complete. Man, I still haven't gotten the freaking sister mission. I wonder where she goes. Maybe she's not even in Saint Denis. Maybe I'm looking in Saint Denis, Saint Denis, whatever. And maybe she's not even here at the moment. Maybe she's like somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like maybe she's by like roads or or something. Then again, she would be popping up. She hasn't popped up here at all. All right, guys. So we're definitely going to end it here. This has been definitely a uh, quite an eventful episode. We did two main missions. We did a decent amount of side quests, the stranger missions. And life is good. And this guy is playing some good shit. So we will end it off here. And thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. As always, if you'd like to see more, just drop it a like. And uh, catch later. I was going to say howdy, partner, but it's, it's the end of the video. It just, all right, guys.